Um, I just thought I'd show you a pet that you haven't seen before. This is Milo, my 12 year old um, cat. He is amazing, he's so cute, he's so cuddly, but he's not that cute when he gets annoyed with the dog. Well, I'll let you go then. Bye bye. Um, so in today's video, I thought I would just go through pretty much everything that I've got that is, you know, young at the start of its new life or in the incubator because I, you can, all you can see is my head at the moment. There you go. So um, I'm on my knees now. I thought I'd just show you because it is quite confusing. I've done my sleeping set video um, and I know that I told you what's in there, but I thought I would just talk you through it because I gave you... But I like the odd numbers. I'm just going to go through everything and updates and everything because some things have changed. Some things, well, I've got more of some things. I've got different species of some things. Um, so, yeah, and I'm just going to show you how I'm going to deal with all of this. So, yeah, I'll see you when I'm over there. Also, um, I would love to know how everyone is doing um, because of the coronavirus thing. Tell me if you're all well, comment down below on everything with this subject. Um, moving on with the incubator, so this is my incubator at the moment. It has one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven boxes in it, and soon it's gonna have thirteen. So, yeah, I have a fair few things in here. Um, so I'm just gonna start with this row here. On the top, I have my Zampros um, stick insects. I've had three hatchlings of these so far, so all of these, I reckon in the next week to two weeks, they'll all be hatched. Here, I have my green bean stick insects. Um, it's a something giganta species, I can't remember exactly. Then I have my Lamponia gurini stick insect. I have two of these, and that makes it 49 plus 53 so these are two different clutches it doesn't matter if they mix together or not i just like to keep them apart for some odd reason right 53 right i've got 102 here i believe and um, tell me if that's wrong but you know and i have i used to have 42 of these but they got infected with mold so i took out the strong ones the ones that are still standing i've got so these are my McClay Spectres, or um, Australian Walking Stick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've got 15 of these now. I used to have 42, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, it has to happen. Because if I didn't separate them, they'd all get infected. Here I have three pink wing stick and set eggs in a waxworm pot. I found those because the stick and set obviously escaped as a nymph. And it's eaten um, some of the leaves around the house. Because I do have some plants around the house. They're not poisonous for it. But then again, it's not edible for it. Um, so, it's obviously survived. It's laid its eggs in the house and I found them, luckily. Otherwise, we would have had a stick and set infestation, which would be fun. So, in here, I have around 20 Indian stick and set eggs. Um, I can't really count them because they are on soil. But they should be hatching soon, which is pretty exciting. I think I am actually going to move these onto some tissue just to be sure. Um, these aren't stick insects, but this is my one morning gecko egg. The other one was a slug. Sadly, I was, expect I was very excited for two, but never mind. They'll lay their own eggs without the need of a male, so I'm guaranteed to get some more. In here, I have. 53 near Hyrosea and Marine stick and set eggs, which are some of my favourite. I find those really cool. And here I have, for some reason, only three giant African land snail eggs. Um, I took my snails out. I put them on the top just before I was about to bath them, because you don't have to bathe these snails. And I found three snail eggs on top of there. And it's been just under two weeks, so they will be hatching soon. And they haven't laid any more, but besides that they have mated, I've seen them mating. Lovely. So I will be getting a lot more. Uh oh, there we go. So yeah, that is all of the things in here. 
I will get back to you with all of my nymphs that have been hatching. So, over here, up here in these two tubs, I have my nymphs, the ones that have hatched so far. I do have a rat, I'll have a lot more tubs, not these exact ones. These are my only two that I have free, the rest have live food in. I have under here, for the rest of the nymphs, before they go into a big reptile breed, which I'm probably going to be buying within the next couple of weeks, I have two of these. I have two of these, and I have one of these. So, um, if an emergency happens, I can put them in there and stab that up, but I doubt that's going to happen because. One, it's pretty hard to get a stick insect emergency. And two, the shop that I'm going to order it from is not far away at all. It's about eight miles away, not even that. So, you know, <laughs> um, let's show you what I have then. So in here I have four pink wing stick insect eggs, unexpected nymphs. I never expected to have these. As um, I found them in my snail cage because stick insects used to live in there and they had laid eggs in the air vents which I had not noticed. I was wondering why they didn't lay eggs but turns out they did and I found them not outside the cage, inside the cage luckily. Um, I found one in there yesterday and the other three about a week ago. I'm actually now kind of hoping there are more in there and there are more to hatch because it is pretty cool. So, like I say, I've got three more eggs for these that I know I've got and probably at least one or two in the snail cage still. Um, so yeah, they're my pink wings. So there's two on the lid. They're about an inch. And there's two there, if you can see. So this used to be a ghost mantis enclosure. That's what I bought it in. So, you know. And in here I have three Vampros stick insect nymphs, which just hatched last night. There's one there, and the other one is on the floor. Um, I'd say comment down below if you do want me to do a stick insect nymph care video, because I know there are videos out there, but there isn't a lot of videos like specifically on them. It's just show, it's just people showing you um, their nymphs. There's more of like praying mantis nymphs care videos, so don't get mixed up with that if you're not experienced. Um, so comment down below if you do want me to do that, because I will, and um, make it a bit easier for you. Because I will just say something now, as nymphs, it's hard to get them on food. Um, so I would say just go for the staple diet for all stick insects, which is bramble. Pretty... as far to my knowledge all stick insects can eat bramble um unless you've got a really advanced stick insect um i would definitely go with bramble because they're that's what most likely they're gonna eat um someone i know just fed them rose leaves they can eat rose leaves don't fall over please they can eat rose leaves no problem but they will start eating that around l3 to l4 normally as proper nymphs or youngsters they will not eat anything but bramble stick and indians black beauties will eat privet but i would just say as nymphs just keep them on bramble keep them on something that they'll be familiar with for the rest of their life and they will be comfortable eating it doesn't matter if they won't eat it within the first week normally they will just their bites are that small you can't even see it but that it will get them a little bit of time to adjust for it. So, yeah, they're my sick and set nymphs. So, like I always say, I hope you did like the video. Um, if you did, please like this video, subscribe, share it with your other friends, people that will be interested. Comment down below anything you want. And if you want me to do another video, if you want a certain video, comment down below. And I will be sure to reply. I will be sure to like that comment. And I will be sure to do that video for you. Because obviously, I don't have a lot of fans. And the fans that are my fans deserve... Um, well, deserve what they give. So, 
Um, I am quite thankful for the people that do follow me because I know reptiles and invertebrates isn't the most popular thing on YouTube, but I just think whether there's millions of people watching me or 10 people watching me, I don't really care. As long as I'm giving good footage to people, I will improve. If you didn't know, I have had previous YouTube channels since 2015, I think. I do have one called JA380KE, which I'm not uploading on anymore. Um, so if you want to go and check that out, you can. There are animal videos on there, but just be aware. Some of them I cannot take off, and some of them I'm not too proud of. Like my snail video, some of the information was a little bit off, but not severely. You can go ahead and watch them if you want um and if you want a shout out comment down below as well i'll be sure to like that comment reply to that comment and give you a shout out so if you want that it's pretty worth it because i'm checking pretty much every day and you will get a shout out within the next video so i'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>